How's it going everybody? It's Sketch Monkey here. Welcome back to a new video. This is going to be a review video because a company called Huion contacted me and asked me if they could send me a tablet to use in my videos and to show you guys what it can do. And of course I said yes, send it to me. I'll make a video about it and check it out if it can replace my beloved old Intuos 3 from 2008 which I can actually take up throw into the wall and then still plug it in and it will work fine. So will this replace that tablet or not? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I wanna first of all say this, that when it comes to gadgets and when it comes to phones and all this technology and new product every single year from all these companies, I don't care about any of that. What I care about, can the product, product that I'm using, can it actually do the job that I need it to do? That's all that I care about. I don't care. About, I don't care if it's the, what brand it is. I don't care to have the latest uh, iPhone with a triple camera or depth thing. I don't care about that. As, so, as long as the product can make the can can do the job that I needed to do, I'm more than happy with it. So that's why I have an old iPhone 7. I used to have an iPhone 5 until Apple upgraded it until it was not. I couldn't use it anymore because it was too slow. Uh, so I had to buy a new phone and that's the only reason why I got the iPhone 7. Otherwise, I would still have the iPhone 5C, I think, with the plastic thing. Anyway, let's jump into the video. I'm going to show you the tablet, uh, talk about the tablet, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using it for. And if I think it's a great tablet, the pros and the cons and all of that good stuff that you know that's that you're supposed to have in a review, <laughs> I'm going to put that in this review. So let's jump into the video. Let me show you the tablet, what it looks like, and uh, let's get sketching. Now before we get into the sketching part, just make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you get notified when new videos are uploaded every single week. Just Rosie making sure that the uh, editing is on point here. What do you think Rosie? Is it good enough for you? You suck! So before we jump into the Huion, before, we, before I show you the tablet that we're going to be checking out today, I want to show you this bad boy that's been with me since 2007 and this one is pretty special to me because it's been around the world pretty much from Sweden when I bought it in 2007 uh, to me this was a huge investment back in the day because I was a college student that didn't have a lot of money but I knew I wanted one of these and I wanted it in black so this is a Wacom Intuos 3 wide. Wide means that it's wider, it's more of a horizontal format than the standard one that goes up something like this. And the reason I wanted the wide is because I knew I wanted to sketch cars. And when you sketch cars, they tend to be more horizontal. It's not like you're sketching architecture, then you might want to have the standard one. But I wanted this one, I wanted it in black. And I've had this since 2007 and it is pretty worn out, but it still works great. I still love it and I use it to this day. But as you can see, the biggest issue that I had with it is this cord right here. The where, where the cord goes into the tablet itself, you can see that it's kind of kind of worn there. So I'm actually I was actually looking for a new tablet and I did not know if I wanted a tablet like this or an actual display where I sketch on top of the display. So when Huion offered to send me one of their new tablets, the Huion Canvas 20, I said yes, send it to me, I'd be happy to because I'm sketching a lot and I can use it on my channel and show you guys what it's all about. The thing is start with pen and paper if you want to start sketching stuff. You don't need any gadget like this, you just need to have the passion for sketching. And once you're comfortable with pen and paper, that's when you can take it into digital. I don't think they sell them anymore, but they sell some equivalent. I don't like the new tablets because they have a different surface to them, not as slippery as this one. This is very easy to sketch on and the pen flows very easily. The new ones, I think you need to like replace this part every now and then, but this is the same standard one that I've been using since day one and it still works great. I haven't changed anything on this. But the point here is you can start with something small, pen and a paper for example, start with that and then you jump into tablets and Photoshop or Coral Painter or even Paint if you want to do that, it doesn't really matter. But what we're gonna do now is jump into the tablet, I'm gonna show you the unboxing of it and then show you all the buttons, cables and what comes with it. So the tablet comes in this sturdy looking package right here, a box and on the side you can see all the main features of the tablet and what you can expect from it and also what's inside of the package. It's in two different layers. The, first, the top layer is this layer right here where you have all the cables 
you have the VGI cable, you have the HDMI cable, the power cable, the power adapter, and the stand. You also have some uh, instruction on how to install this tablet, and I'm gonna walk you through how my installation went. And of course, you also have the pen, and the holder for the pen, which looks like a tiny little donut. And inside of this donut, you actually have additional nibs for your pen, should it wear out and you need to replace it, they're all in there. And in the second layer of this package, you have the screen itself. And I wouldn't be worried about the shipping of this because it's packaged really well. It comes within this plastic box and when you open it up, you can see that it has a screen protector covering the screen as well. Now, if you're running this on an iMac, you're going to need an HDMI to Thunderbolt or mini display port adapter to make this work, since Apple wants to be special. I may or may not have installed the foot the wrong way around the first time, but all the hardware comes with the tablet. You have this Allen key and the uh, screws as well, and this takes about two to three minutes. And you have the release for the foot on top, so if you just reach behind with your hand and pull up the uh, handle in the back, it's really easy to adjust to whatever angle you're comfortable with. Now, installing the tablet is very, very simple. You just go to the website, you download the specific drivers for the model that you have. I did not have to do any sort of calibration or pressure settings or anything like that. What I did do though is change the warm tone or the cold tone on the tablet. I want it to be more neutral, so that's the only change that I had to do. Plug in all the cables and you're good to go. I also really like this little detail here that Huion put on the screen. It's a warm tip. It's not just a tip, but it's a warm tip to you to remove the plastic cover from the tablet before you start working on it. The tablet comes with five different buttons. You can see them all here. It's auto, minus, plus, menu, and of course the power button. And these are the buttons you use to set up your display to uh, whatever color settings and kind of tones that you want the display to have. Personally, the standard setup was too cold of a tone for me. So I just went into this menu and played around with it until I got the tone that I was looking for. The most important thing for me is to have a smooth gradient between black to white. And if you have too high of a contrast, you're going to see these cut lines between the black and white, and it's not really a smooth gradient. So you kind of have to play around with this until you find the settings that work for you. And it took about two or three minutes to set this up. Let me show you the pen of the Huion. It's this one right here. And compared to my old pen that I use with the Wacom, it's a lot thicker and bulkier than the one I'm used to. And you can see here that Rosie also likes to chew on these pens. So you can see her, she left her mark right there. Thankfully, it didn't destroy the pen. It still works great. And now it's just a little bit more uh, original. Personally, I do prefer this pen over this pen for the simple reason that this feels more natural and it's not as bulky as this one. Of course, both of these buttons back and forth are customizable on both pens, but I only use one of those buttons and it's always been the front one and that would be a right hand click, mouse click. And what that does in Photoshop is you bring up the all your brushes so you can just quickly click there, you get the brush menu and then you can quickly select what brush you want. I don't really use this at all, but uh, I guess you can customize it uh, and uh, figure out some function for this if you want to. Now, obviously, I didn't want you to miss the moment when I took advantage of the warm tip and removed the plastic cover that's covering the screen. I know how satisfying it can be to watch. So here you go. Enjoy. Once everything was plugged in, it was very simple to either mirror the screen so that you have the same screen on the iMac and the tablet itself, or even better, you can have two different screens. And you know what that means. You can watch two of my videos at the same time. 
So let me show you what's inside of this donut. This is actually the panda stand, so you just put it like that, or you can have it like this with the uh, creases right here. But if this nib right here, if it gets worn out, this little thing right here, you have 10 of them inside of this thing, so you just twist it open like that, and boom, you have all the nibs you need for at least a few years moving forward inside of this thing. So what about the sketching experience? Does it work as well as more well-known tablets? Can you tell the difference? One issue you will always encounter with display tablets is the distance between the sketch surface and the nib and the line itself. This doesn't bother me personally, but I know it can be annoying for some people in the beginning. I started sketching as soon as I got the HDMI to Thunderbolt adapter in the mail. There are mainly two reasons I haven't considered getting a display tablet to replace my Intuos. The first reason is I like to see the whole canvas when I'm sketching. Meaning I don't like my hand to cover a large portion of the sketch, which it does when using a display tablet. With a regular tablet, I get a better overview of what's going on in the sketch without having to move my hand off the tablet. Second reason is I'm so used to a regular tablet that I never felt the need to switch. I've been using display tablets and jumping back and forth between regular and display tablets for over 10 years now, so I'm used to using both and can switch anytime and still be comfortable sketching. However, large display tablets tend to get very warm after a while, especially if you have the brightness turned all the way up. I haven't had that issue with the Huion even after long sketch sessions of four to five hours at a time. I haven't noticed any lag time when sketching either and the response time is the same as what I'm used to, meaning I don't notice any delay and it doesn't cause any problems when sketching fast. One thing to notice is that the Canvas 20 does not come with any customizable buttons on the side of the screen. But to me that's not a problem because I've always used the keyboard in addition to whatever tablet I'm using. Even if it has a bunch of buttons on the side, I never use them. I've always had my left hand on the keyboard ready to undo whatever mistake I just did while the right hand do all of the sketching. The size of the tablet for me is just about right. I prefer this size over the larger tablets out there. And not that I care, but the tablet has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and the work area is 496 millimeters across diagonally. New for this is the tilt function of the pen and that the pen itself is now battery free. For all the facts and figures, just click the link below in the description. So, what's the verdict? Can we use the Huion Canvas 20 to sketch and redesign cars in Photoshop? Yes. Yes, we can. I think it's time to introduce a new official The Sketch Monkey tablet. I will still be using my old Intuos for when I want to sketch on the laptop out in the living room or take it to a friend's house for a sketch session. It's still the best tablet that I've ever owned and I will never get rid of it. But for the main tablet in the office, we have a new king on the throne. Welcome to the family, Huion, Intuos. Thank you for your service. You will be called for sketch duty when needed. If you're interested in the Huion Canvas 20, simply click the link in the description to learn all the details and order yours. I've had nothing but great communication with the fine people at Huion and I'm actually really happy that there are companies like this that are taking a piece of the tablet market. After all, it makes for better competition, better products, and in the end, more affordable products for all of us.